what's up guys it's your boy executor back again today i'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install open iv on your pc it's going to be super easy and super quick so let's hop right into it first of all you want to scroll down to the description of this video and click the first link it's going to bring you to the open iv website okay so once you're on the open iv website you want to go ahead and find this green button that says download now go ahead and click on it your download should start immediately but if it doesn't and you get this error message that says that this website can't provide a secure connection don't worry there is a really simple fix for this so what you need to do is head on up to your browser address bar and remove the s from the https go ahead and delete the s and then you hit enter on your keyboard and there we have it the open iv setup exe has been successfully downloaded if for whatever reason your web browser address bar does not show the https that means you have it turned off in your settings i am using google chrome and how to turn this on and off is just head on up to the address bar and right click and select always show full urls let me turn it off to show you guys so that is when it is off you won't see the https but if you go ahead and right click you can select always show full urls and there it is okay guys so the next step is to install open iv so go ahead and find where your open iv setup was downloaded to and double click on it you want to go ahead and click run choose your language and just go ahead and wait while the setup does its thing Alrighty, you want to go ahead and accept this agreement and hit continue. Okay, so this is the installation path. This cannot be changed. So you really do not need to mess with anything right here. Just go ahead and press continue. Download size 20.4 megabytes. Do you want to continue? Yes. And then it's going to install OpenIV. Alrighty, installation of OpenIV has been completed successfully. Go ahead and hit close. Okay, so once the OpenIV has been successfully installed, you should have a shortcut on your desktop. So go ahead and double click it. And you want to select Grand Theft Auto 5 Windows. And right here, you want to choose the installation path of your GTA 5 game. So go ahead and press browse. I'm using the Steam version. So this is where my GTA 5 is installed. So it's program files, x86. And go down to Steam. Go to Steam apps. Go to common. Go to Grand Theft Auto 5. And then you hit select folder. And you will see this green notification right here. Successfully GTA5.exe. OpenIV can work with this file. You want to go ahead and press continue. You're going to get the notification. Do not forget to back up your original files before editing. Go ahead and hit continue again. and just let open iv do its thing once again okay guys there you have it open iv has been successfully installed on your pc one thing you need to do now is go to tools go to asi manager and you're gonna need to install the asi loader and open iv.asi Usually it will ask you if you want to install a mods folder. Just go ahead and click yes and let it do its thing. 
Alrighty, now that we have these two installed, you are now ready to install some mods. Okay guys, before you can install any mods, you need to turn on edit mode. Right here at the top, this button that says edit mode, go ahead and click it. This is going to give you a warning saying while in editing mode, all changes will automatically save. Do you want to continue? Go ahead and hit yes and there you have it if your gta 5 folder does not have a folder inside of it called mods you need to go ahead and create that folder right now so just head on over to where your gta 5 is installed and in the base directory where you have your gta 5 exe and all the files and the folders go ahead and create a new folder and name that folder mods as you can see i have mine already okay guys so one thing i want to note is that whatever archive you want to edit you should copy to the mods folder first okay so let's say i wanted to edit this archive i would get this red warning at the top right here that says the archive you are currently editing is not located in mods folder no it will give you two options you can copy to mods folder or you can change mods folder settings you need to hit copy to mods folder okay so what that does is it creates a copy of the original archive and puts the copy into the mods folder so whatever changes you make to that copy if you mess up anything you can just go ahead and delete it and then you can copy the original archive back to the mods folder again please ensure that you copy the archive to the mods folder super important now if you want to safeguard against you editing the original archive go up to the menu right here and select tools go to options go to mods folder and select this option that says allow edit mode only for archives inside the mods folder and go ahead and close it so as you can see the warning has changed so it says the archive you are currently editing is not located in mods folder the editing capabilities have been disabled for this archive navigate to mods folder or allow editing in the settings so basically you could just go ahead and hit copy to mods folder that's it i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did go ahead and hit that like button and leave a comment in the section below let me know what you think i'm going to be bringing you guys more gta 5 mod tutorials so make sure you hit that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so you get notified when i release a new instructional video it's your boy executor i'm a dip on order here i'm gonna catch you in the next video peace out